Did you know that you can grow blackberries and raspberries on an arch trellis? If you're like me, you desperately want to be growing berries in your home garden. If there's any food that my kids request more than uh, snacks, it's berries. They love strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries. And blackberries and raspberries are beautiful. They're can, they can be prolific, but they can also take up a lot of space. Uh, but growing them on an arch trellis is a way to create beauty and flowers and all this color while also minimizing the amount of space that your vines are going to take up. So come on inside. I'm going to show you how we've done this on these tunnel arch trellises inside this beautiful kitchen garden at Juniper Green. If you're the kind of person who is into beautiful gardens and tons of plants and delicious harvests and tips and tricks on how to grow more of the food and the plants that you love, then you've got to subscribe to the Gardenary channel. You can hit that button right here on this page and you'll get a notification every time we drop a new video that's going to inspire you and teach you a new trick or a new design or walk you through a tour of a garden like this one to keep you growing all year long. So this is our tunnel arch trellis at Gardenary. This is a kit that goes together. It's got these steel rods here, these main frames. It's got three main frames, and you can actually even buy an extender kit and make this go the entire length of a tunnel, depending on how long you wanted to grow it. So we put these kits together, and then we actually used cement. We dug a little bit of a footer. Actually, we didn't. We hired a team to do it, uh, to dig a footer and then to put in some cement so that these things literally do not move. Now on the outside, we planted some pollinator friendly vines that would cover the trellis quickly. I knew that the blackberry and the raspberry vines will be a little bit slower to climb the trellis. So for beauty, I used some honeysuckle vine uh, and some trumpet vine to grow up the front and the back of this trellis. And then on the center points, we planted blackberry and raspberry. Now the raspberry is just starting to take off. You can see it's a little bit more of a slow grower. You could prune this to just one main vine. We're just gonna kind of let it do its thing its first year, but this will eventually, we use this cane here to get it going. And then it's just gonna go from rung to rung. Then check out this blackberry. So this has been growing for about three months in this space. You can see how strong the cane is. We had a little bit of a bamboo cane to give it support to get started. And this is how it is taking off. It's already grown up to about, I don't know, I would say about four, maybe oh, more than five feet. And it's starting to, you know, start to wrap around this center stalk. We have some fruit already starting to form and it's just looking so nice and healthy. In fact, I think, nope, not quite ready. I was gonna steal one maybe. I think I might take this one. Let's see. This one, oh, it looks pretty good. Not perfect, but. Oh my God, so delicious. Okay, this one has a really nice leader stem, which I had to kind of dig out of the grasses. And it's such a, it's a strong stem. It's different than uh, twining like uh, tomatoes or cucumbers. This is a very strong main stem. So I literally just took it, pulled it up, and then tucked it in and out of this arch trellis. So you can even use a little twine up here. Uh, but you can see how this vine is gonna take up a lot less room. And you could really just spread it out across the entirety of the arch trellis, let it let us do it do its thing and go over the top. I'll show you these vines back here as well. So again, we've got the trumpet vine, which is a great, it's a hummingbird and pollinator attractor, which is great to have near your berries. And then we've got these blackberries starting to grow right up the edge, just like in the other one. You can see this vine, I did the same thing. Um, took the main one and then just tucked it up and under and this one's already started to uh, To start to go over the top Then we've got blackberry on this side as well and it's doing pretty much the same thing We have this one main vine that's about five feet tall. So lots of fruit on these vines They're looking awesome and they're not taking up much space so I've grown blackberries and raspberries on panel trellises and that works really well but panel trellises only go so tall then you find that you have your blackberries and raspberries kind of going wild and sprawling at the top with the arch trellis you you're able to give this ongoing support to the vine you could literally have the vine go up and over the top onto the other side 
And then you have this ability where each and every year when you get new canes, you prune back the old and then you'll just tie and attach the new canes back to the arch trellis to grow over it again. So I hope this inspires you with a new way to grow your blackberries and raspberry vines over an arch trellis. This is the tunnel arch trellis. We have lots of other arches inside the gardenery shop. This one is great for growing blackberries and raspberries because of its width. You literally could grow, you know, just this huge walkway full of blackberries and raspberries using the tunnel arch trellis. Plus it's one of our most affordable trellises that we carry in the shop. So you can find all of these at gardenery.com in the gardenery shop. We'll put some links below this video as well. And if you wanna learn how to grow everything in your kitchen garden and set it up with my help, you should sign up to find out more about Kitchen Garden Academy. If we're open, you can find out about that at the link below. And if we're not, you can figure out how to get on the wait list so that you are the first to be notified when the doors open next time. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to get out there, plant some blackberries and raspberries and use an arch trellis to do it. Thanks for watching. See you later.